Hi everyone, my name is Chad Peters. I'm president and CEO of Ridgeline Minerals Corporation. We are a Nevada fo newly listed Nevada focused gold explorer and I have 10 quick minutes to show you why I think we're uh, an exciting investment. So quick cautionary statement, um, I am a geologist so I'll try to keep the forward looking statements to a minimum. Now, why invest in Ridgeline Minerals? I think um, one of the things that really sets us apart right off the hop is that I co-founded the company with the owner of a drilling company. This significantly reduces risk to our shareholders by putting more feet in the ground with every dollar um, that we raise. So this increases our chance of making a discovery early in the exploration cycle. We have three um, very exciting projects totaling 116 square kilometers in the Carlin and Battle Mountain Eureka trends. And we think that combined with our drilling contract our management team being really strongly aligned with our shareholders, myself being the largest individual shareholder of Ridgeline, holding just under 8%. Um, I didn't take a salary for the first 14 months of the company. And then I put $150,000 cash of my own money into all three financings we've done in the history of the company. So total in total, our management team owns 17%. We're firmly aligned and uh, we're just really looking to go out and make a discovery. So we have 6,000 meters planned for 2020 across uh, our projects and, and our goal is to advance these projects to a stage where we can announce um, a new discovery in Nevada. As I mentioned, we have a really strong team. Myself and Mike Harp, we're Nevada-based geologists. Um, together, we found over 5 million ounces of gold on the, on the Carlin and Battle Mountain trends in the last five to six years. So we know what we're looking for. We've surrounded ourselves with a great management team and board um, who can help guide us the whole way along. So um, we think we're building the right pieces and we're going to be adding Peter Hardy to the board, um, CFO of Equinox Gold. He'll be joining as an independent director um, at our AGM in October. So we think we're, uh, we're attracting really high caliber people to the team. So as far as capital structure, um, as I mentioned, we have 17% management ownership and then a really great mix of public companies, institutional ownership at 12% and 52% retail investors. So EMX Royalty Corp heads up our Pubco ownership group. We spun the projects out of EMX Royalty um, in late 2018 and they've been fantastic partners so far. Um, as I mentioned, we have a strong cash position of five, about 5.5 million as at the end of August. And uh, we raised over 5 million at 45 cents on our IPO in August of 2020. So that was upsized and heavily oversubscribed. And uh, we think it was a very successful IPO. So we net currently have 48 million shares outstanding, 6.2 million warrants, 3.3 million options. So this is a very tight share structure. And we think with uh, a little bit of expiration success, there's great potential for this stock to really move. So. Uh, I probably don't need to get too heavy into why Nevada. Um, it's a world-class jurisdiction, um, and I'm sure that all of you are well aware of, of uh, the potential that uh, Nevada exploration brings and the value of any discovery being made. So Barrick is currently um, doing a lot of exploration in Nevada. They've kind of doubled down and since uh, their merger with Nevada Gold Mines, and uh, we believe that we're well-situated on the trends. So we have three projects, as I mentioned. We have Carlin East, Swift, and Selena. Carlin East and Swift are both um, very large land packages, core positions right beside some of the biggest uh, mines in Nevada, and they're high-grade underground gold targets. Now we've offset some of that deeper high-grade risk with our Selena project, which is down in the South Carlin trend, and we're seeing some really exciting early stage results out of Selena that has given us, us enough reason to go out and drill another phase three program um, in, uh, in late 2020. So we have that coming up very soon and we're very excited about that as well. So I'm going to walk you through Swift first. That's a project we're currently drilling right now and we're seeing a lot of good things coming out of that in just our first hole. So I'll walk you through that first. Swift, 51 square kilometer land package, as I mentioned, high grade target. We're drilling 3000 meters at our phase one program, which is currently ongoing. And I expect that program to continue all the way into mid November, probably before we get this thing done. So main takeaway I want to point out here is when you look to the image on the right hand side, you can see that Swift is a massive land position and it's directly on trend of some massive mines on the on the Cortez trend. So pipeline over 20 million ounces, Cortez Hills well over 15 million ounces. The gold rush and four mile discoveries that Barrick and New Nevada Gold Mines is currently bringing into um, feasibility and production. These are well over 15 million ounce and um, deposits as well. So there's significant potential on this trend. We're sitting right up. You can see right here is a continuation of what we think is the, the Cortez trend. And we're excited to be giving that a test right now at our fallen city target, which if you look to the image on the left, this is just a zoomed in picture uh, plan view of uh, that same pa property package. 
And you can see that our holes one through three, they're situated right in the center of the Cortez structural trend. And a thing that I wanna point out is this hole right here, 99.5A, that was drilled in 1999, hit 17 meters of 0.6 grams per ton gold and never got any follow-up. This was in the right host rocks, just outside of that Cortez structural corridor, what we believe is that really great trend. And um, now we're testing just up dip of those structures. And you can see on the next image on section AA prime, this is what that would look like to us. So we just finished hole, uh, hole 2001. That was an RC hole. We hit the, the Roberts Mountain formation at 529 meters, which was very exciting for us, much shallower than the historic drill hole here, which was at 727 meters. We are gonna be going in with core now. We just finished uh, 2001. We're gonna finish a couple more RC pre-callers and then we're gonna finish those holes with core, which is gonna allow us to go deeper and fully test this Roberts Mountain section all the way through the up dip projection of what was hit in that historic drill hole. So we're really excited about the potential. We're seeing the right rocks. We observed alteration and mineralization of Carlin type alteration um, in the drill log and in the drill hole. So um, yeah, so we'll be starting the core program in the 16th of October and we'll be seeing results coming out mid to late November and all the way into December here as we get these holes um, assayed and out to the lab. So we have a lot of, uh, we believe there's a lot of potential at the, uh, at the SWIFT project. And these are the first deep holes that have been drilled in over 20 years. So very exciting times for the company. So then our Selena project, as I mentioned, it's kind of a nice offset to some of the deeper um, high grade potential at our Carlin Easton Swift projects. It's 26 square kilometers, oxide, open pit, gold, silver targets. We've already had pretty significant success in the first 1500 meters of drilling, which was completed in earlier in 2020. So we've drilled up to 29 meters at 1.26 grams per ton gold equivalent, high silver component to these uh, hits so far. So in phase three, which is gonna be 1500 meters, we're gonna be looking to expand on that and hopefully hit higher grade gold over wider intercepts. Um, just to point out here on the image on the left, the property is located about 12 kilometers, as you can see here from the Bald Mountain Mine. Um, which produces over 150,000 ounces a year um, by Kinross right now. It's in current production. So um, when you look to the image on the right, what we're looking at is the green dots are what we drilled in phase one. Red dots were drilled in phase two, which was in the of 2020. That's where we hit up to 29 meters of 1.26 grams gold, uh, gold equivalent. And the gray dots, which are right here, all the way along these faults, these are what we're gonna be drilling in phase three. So we're actually gonna be coming in and we're gonna be testing the parallel fault zones through here that connect these two targets. So we think that uh, we can come in and see some exciting uh, results if we test these parallel zones. So if you look to the section AA prime, this just points out kind of a schematic um, model of what we see going on. As I mentioned, we're gonna be testing in phase three, this area right there. That's where we're gonna, we believe that we can hit wider intercepts and potentially higher grades. And we're excited to get that program underway probably in late October once we finish the pre-callers of SWIFT. Now, heading over to our Carlin East project. Carlin East is a really, really exciting core strategic land position for us. It's in the North Carlin trend, high grade underground target, just like Swift. And uh, we're directly on trend of the Leeville mine and um, only two kilometers away from the 40 million ounce gold strike complex, uh, Nevada gold mine zone. So we're really excited about the potential. And uh, you know, this is, a, as I mentioned, a core land position. You can see on this image on the right-hand side um, that our position, our, we have 39 square kilometers, 100% um, owned, and we're directly adjacent to some of these massive mines. There's never been any significant drilling on the project other than 1901, this hole drilled right here, which we drilled in 2019, which proved that lower plate host rocks were significantly shallower than previously thought. We hit the host rocks at about 700 me 790 meters, which is significantly shallower than what Newmont had previously thought when they owned the project in the late 90s, early 2000s. One thing that I really want to point out is that Nevada Gold Mines is currently drilling multiple holes on trend and adjacent to our project. So we've taken a step back and we're trying to understand, better understand what they're targeting on their side of the project so that we can better target on our side of the, of the boundary. Um, our company's focused on you know, systematically testing targets and we'll be in a better spot if we can see what Barrick's up to, maybe try to mimic some of their results by testing similar targets on our side of the boundary. So with that in mind, we've actually deferred our 1000 meter drill program um, that was gonna be happening in 2020. We've deferred that to 2021 in order to better collect and better understand data that's being drilled on, on their side of the boundary. 
And uh, you know, we believe that we need to be drilling a larger program to better test these, these targets. So for example, this is the Leeville North target. This was a, I believe in Q2, Barrick announced a 21 meters of 35 gram per ton intercept in this general area. Now that's a world-class intercept. We wanna better understand the geology behind that so that we can more effectively target on our side of the property. So it's a very exciting land package for us. We are gonna be advancing it very aggressively in 2021 uh, with a larger drill program than we originally planned in 2020. So lots of upside at Carlin East and I think 2021 is gonna be a really exciting year for us. So we have multiple project catalysts um, heading through the end of the year. Um, as I mentioned, we're gonna be drilling Selena and Swift in a parallel program starting uh, in the next week and a half. So we'll be drilling RC at phase three at Selena. We'll be drilling a core program um, as part of our phase one program at Swift. The total is gonna to be over 6,000 meters total by the end of the year. And we're gonna be having drill results coming out starting in mid to late November and all the way into December. So it's gonna be a very catalyst rich fall for us. Um, we're excited about what we're seeing at Selena. We believe we're already in the discovery phase at that project. And Swift, this is the very first holes drilled on this project in over uh, 20 years. So um, we've already hit the right host rocks. Now it's a matter of vectoring into higher grade material, right? So when I say why invest in ridge line minerals, as I mentioned, we're fully funded to complete our 2020 programs as well as 2021. We'll be ending 2020 with about 4.5 million Canadian in the bank. Um, which is going to allow us to, again, aggressively go after these programs in 2021. We've got a fully aligned, firmly aligned management team, and uh, we're just out here looking to make a discovery. So um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to contact me through our website or directly at cpeters at ridgelineminerals.com. And uh, looking forward to hopefully meeting some of you at the conference. Thank you.